This is video nine in a series about this greenhouse build. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I closed in the ends, built and attached the ridge vents, and attached the plastic on the roof. Now that I've got the doors hung in here, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the ends with this polycarbonate. It's been interesting working with this really, uh, really thin, bendable. Uh, it's pretty easy to cut. I just use a skill saw and turn the blade backwards. I can even cut some really strange angles with it, as you'll see on the outside. And I found for uh, cutting small stuff, like if there's a little notch or something, just a pair of scissors will work just fine. And I use two kind of, of uh, blocks for the ends. I put these on the bottom because they're rigid and that worked out pretty good. And then I use these foam ones, they just come apart. Uh, I use these in the top because I could stretch them a little bit and I'm not real happy with the way they sealed up, but it'll help. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and caulk all the edges, I'm sure. And on the vertical ends, um, I bought some of this expandable foam weather seal and I put that vertically in the ends that just sticks on the wood and then the end of the polycarbonate just wraps around. You'll see it. But uh, anyway, it works pretty good. So I just got this to fit up in there like that. Looks like it might be a little bit long. A little more off. Stuff is sticky. So you can see how this is rounded. I'm going to want that right in the middle of that, or just a little bit to the inside. Now in this particular application, I can't stretch that white foam stuff on here, so I'm going to have to use this, this expandable foam in there too. So. You have to be careful not to flatten those screws out too much in that top is uh, we want that foam to expand. I built the vent doors out of pre-primed and painted 1x2s, 8th inch fiberglass panels, and 2 inch high R insulated board. One of the things I learned doing this is that this fiberglass sheeting is real wobbly so but I assumed I'd be able to put mastic around the sides and then put some screws in and it'd be fine but what happened is that even the mastic uh, would hump it up so I had to get some clamps and put these boards on to clamp it up and then I think it's going to be fine. They've got the uh, vent panels made and the hinges in set and installed. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach them to the openings on the greenhouse. Now, the plan is, is that I screwed the hinges to the panels and then I'm setting them in place and marking where the other part of the hinge goes. And then I'll take that apart put one screw in that and in each one of the three hinges and then open it up let the hinge adjust a little bit and then put the other screws in and it should work fine
So now that I have the vents mounted, I have to put the openers on them. I'm going to use this gig vent opener, which has about a 65 pound capacity. It works like a screw jack and it has this ram on it and that ram is temperature actuated. When I put the vents on, it was about 90 degrees and it was really hard to get these rams in and out. So what I'm going to do today, because I have to put the weather stripping around them, is I'm going to use some ice to get them to shut, to contract, so it'll be easier to take that ram out. But this would be like the middle of the winter. This is at about uh, 85 degrees. I had to be thoughtful in how I mounted the openers. I had to make sure that the ram would clear the roofing while still having the leverage to close the door tight. I needed something to put over the, the top of the vent so um, the water wouldn't run down inside of them and protect the hinges and stuff. So um, when I built my raised beds, I used a liner inside of them and I had some scrap liner left over. So I just cut that and screwed it to the top of this, put it up against the bottom of this channel. And I'll come back and caulk that after the plastic's on. But it works really good. It's real flexible and uh, should keep the water off of it. Well, today's an exciting day. Got some friends coming over to help me put the plastic on the greenhouse. It's about 7.30 in the morning and probably about 55 degrees, just right for putting the plastic on. If you put it on when it's too warm, it stretches too much and then when it cools off it can break and tear. So that's the plan. We're going to have a good day and have some fun putting that on. We're going to start at the top and roll the plastic out and put, it, put the first layer on, uh, hold it down, uh, probably cut in the fan that'll expand the two layers to keep it insulated. We're going to stretch the second layer over and then, then uh, make sure they're both about the same and uh, then use the wiggle wire, wire to put in the channels to hold it on. The vent doors provided a clean and convenient place to work with the plastic. Oh, I think we're almost there. Sure. Get on the top. How, How much do you have hanging over? I got about six to eight inches. Six inches? Yeah, I got about a foot. How much? A foot? That way? About From foot? towards you? No, I mean, do you have about a foot over that way? I got like 16 inches. Okay, I'm gonna pull my and now I got about a foot at the bottom. It keeps growing. There's plenty at the top, eh? Three. Plenty. So you got it, Walter? Yeah, I got it. So what are we? You know, it's like. Well, where do you start? They say like start at the top. Well, what we have to do is put that in there. You're good, Walter. Okay, this is the wiggle wire we're going to put in there, and we, what we have to do is we have to pull it uh, straight, kind of on the ridge of those curves, 
so we we have it uh, right with the blower and uh, then we'll just work our way each way up each end and then we'll do the bottom and top safety glasses are a good idea when you're working around michael <laughs> he's often radical when it comes to wiggle wire this is amazing stuff. Okay, here you go. <laughs> you, you, you really don't need to pull it too tight because you know, I just want to make sure it stretches this way. And it, and it stretch that way. Yeah, yeah, it's pull up on it. You need to pull the bottom on that. So that it's not wrinkled yeah. in here. Yeah. I feel like it shouldn't be this easy. Mm, it's almost <laughs> sacrilegious, isn't it? It is. I mean, are we doing something wrong? <laughs> Inside the greenhouse, I mounted a blower that blows air in between the two layers of plastic, which you can see uh, bubbles it up, gives me a good dead air space in between there. It also helps shed the rain and the snow. This plastic's been through one complete summer and one complete winter now and it's holding up really well. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't last the full six years that it's supposed to. And I've even heard of some guys um, that have taken the outside plastic and putting it on the inside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because my cat really likes to play on this thing and he's putting a lot of holes in it. So I have this roll of special mending tape for greenhouse film or greenhouse plastic. And I'll probably end up having to use some of that. That brings us to the end of video nine. In the next video, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the prep work I did inside and some of the soil mixes I made, including biochar. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. It's a great way to stay updated on howtofarmandgarden.com and this series. So please share. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and please ask any questions that you have. I'll try to get back to you with some answers. And uh, until next time, Lord bless. <laughs>